Welcome to Grammar Flip. <coughs> we give a hoot about grammar. Well, let's look into it a little bit further. It honestly all depends on who owns what. So individual possession, we're talking in this sentence about Luke's and Jamila's toys are being scattered on the floor. So Luke's and Jamila's toys are scattered on the floor. It might be easiest to picture this with a visual. So picture a room full of toys scattered on the floor. Some of the toys are Luke's and some of the toys are Jamila's. I know it's stereotyping, but just for the sake of clarity, let's say Luke's toys are a bunch of trucks and Jamila's toys are a bunch of dolls. Well, Luke and Jamila don't own the same toys. So in this sentence, we're actually going to be talking about Luke's and Jamila's toys as kind of separate entities, but both are still scattered on the floor. We could think about this by saying Luke's toys and Jamila's toys are scattered on the floor. That's one way that we could think we could know that we're talking about their toys individually, individual possession. But we don't have to write toys after both of them. We could simply say Luke's and Jamila's toys with apostrophe S's after both of their names to indicate that we're talking about individual possession of the toys in question. So what if we mean joint possession? What if they aren't their individual toys, but in fact toys that are both of theirs? Let's picture a big set of Visit Legos. Grammarflip.com for video lessons, practice exercises, writing activities, and more. Start your free trial today. Ooh, 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 ooh.